Today, I'm gonna show you how to jump rope like Jake Gyllenhaal in the movie Southpaw. What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dan Wimmer from Zen Dude Fitness. Thank you, awesome Zen Dude community, for your patience. Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie is a straight badass. The dude is not only shredded and has that great lean Zen Dude physique, but my man Jake actually went through some serious boxing training to get ready for this movie, uh, along with jumping rope. Now, those of you at Zen Dude Fitness who have been with us know that we're always trying to compile the best, most informative videos on teaching you how to jump rope and get lean. So, what I did was went to YouTube and the internet. I scoured the internet for every possible video I could see that had a clip of Jake jumping rope. There wasn't a ton out there besides what's in the movie. So if you guys found other clips that you haven't seen in this video or different tricks that I, that I didn't put in this video, please let me know and I will be sure to add them in there. Also, if you're a Zen Dude hater and you like to leave really mean, nasty comments in our comment section, this would be the video to do it because guess who can't do one of the tricks? This guy. Hey, 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 let him hate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up followed by a subscribe to help continue to grow this channel and for you guys to get free full length weekly workouts, access to information on nutrition and how to live an epic lifestyle and get lean with the jump rope. If you want the jump rope that we use in this video and the one that we use in every single video, it's the cross rope, it's the best, it's the most durable. Say that in every single video because it's the truth. Cross rope, check it out for a 10% discount. Click this link or this link, they're awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first we're gonna start off with the jump rope boxer skip. Pretty basic here. Now what Jake does here is he does um, the, he alternating every foot and then he also does two hops if you saw from the footage. So I did a little bit of both here. And again, guys, for boxer skip, if you haven't already, watch the tutorial that we have linked up here on boxer skip. But it's a relatively simple move and it forms the base of uh, a lot of fighters workouts. But it's basically, you're just alternating the weight shift the weight of your feet so that when one foot is touching as you see here as one foot touches then the other knee bends and slightly just taps the ground and you're just you're just doing that back and forth back and forth here you can see I have two taps you can go every other it doesn't matter but this is a great move to learn and get comfortable with guys Next up, this is Jake performing um, some, some uh, jump rope on The Ellen Show um, as he was talking about the movie Southpaw, and, and here he's doing toe taps. So what I am doing as well is switching up from alternating between every single one toe taps, and then I'm doing two. So if you can see here, nothing really changes about my upper body, guys. My elbows are staying in. Um, it looks like I'm just doing regular bounce, except I'm taking short steps out with my feet while the other comes back and just slightly tapping my toes. The key to becoming good at these moves is not being able to do a whole lot of movement. It's really about making subtle movements and making them very fast. If you see here in slow motion, my feet are just shifting slightly, probably not even more than six to eight inches um, from back to front. Good guys, now next up we have the single leg heel tap. Now, as you can see here, Jake is shifting up. I did a few things here. I'm doing three heel taps on one and then switching. So it's like a single leg uh, hop when you're just, and then you're just tapping your heel in the front. You can switch it up and do every other as you'll see me do here in a sec. But again, guys, not that much different from the toe taps. I'm letting one foot come forward while the weight is staying on my back foot. Notice how the weight stays on my back foot and I just let that other foot that's in the front tap the ground slightly with my heel. Good guys. And lastly, here is the move that I still have not been able to conquer. So what Jake's doing here, if you can see this, he's doing a side swipe, but he's not coming the whole way over. He's doing a side swipe on each side and then opening back up in the middle. The closest one I can do to this and can recommend for you guys is the side swipe where you go the full side swipe and then underneath your feet. As always guys, Brandon and I have, you know, tricks that we need to learn as well. So I'm going to continue to practice, but 
this is one that you can do as a modification or if you're a better jump roper than I am then you can just do the one that Jake did but all I'm doing here guys if you haven't yet check out the side swipe tutorial all I'm doing is taking my hands and rotating the left one over my right and then back around before coming underneath my feet I have a more extensive like I said tutorial on this but it's all about day-by-day -day progress guys don't get discouraged if you can't do some of these moves as you can clearly see I can't do the one that is described in this last one so just have fun with it guys Dan Whitmer from Zen Dude Fitness let's keep jumping rope let's keep getting lean let's keep living an epic life I love you guys I'll see you on the next jump rope tutorial